Hey everybody, um, I'm just doing a quick unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing video before, so I figured, no, oh, what the heck. I'm still in the process of filming for my um, <clears throat> my Halloween mini web series. It's been hard because of COVID-19. So I've been filming little bits here that I could get. Um, when things start to die down a bit, and it's safer, I'll be able to film with my friends and crew and all that to finish the actual episodes. So, but I figured at least, at least until then, I wanted to do a, and like I said, I've never done an unboxing video before, so I figured I'd be, be the first one. Um, I'm working on current, uh, currently I'm trying to put together a Nightmare on the Street Freddy Krueger uh, costume. I managed to get one of the sweaters from the first movie. Um, it came with the certificate of authenticity. I have that put away in storage. I'm going to get a replica one because I don't want to take that one out, but I want to get a replica one to use. Um, I have a silicone Freddy mask and uh, left hand coming in from uh, Sinister Studios. It's a silicone mask and I, I checked out a couple of people on YouTube who actually bought it and it looks amazing. So I got that on its way. And I figured um, I have from Trick or Treat Studios the Nightmare on Street Part 1 Deluxe Freddy Crew glove. So, alright, let's see how, let's see what this looks like. Don't mind the table, it looks kind of dirty. I was actually working on a couple things earlier. And it's got a little smudges on the glass and everything. So, gotta clean that up. I just want to do this. It just came in. Uh, so I'm excited about this. I watched a few videos of other people who ordered it and it looks really, really good. So, let's see what we have here. Oh, well. <laughs> the box is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a much smaller box. Pretty cool box, though. Alright, uh, let's see. Super excited. Like I said, this thing literally came in not even, not even five minutes ago. Not even. Nice looking box. Okay, let me see if I can get this on screen. Uh, it's a dark picture, but it's supposed to be the original, it's the original poster from the first Nightmare on Elm Street. Again, it's not that it's not picking up on camera, it's just that the box itself is very dark. They didn't actually do a full color picture, it's more, more like a little, you know. It's just, it's really cool, I like the sides, and this is actually like a embossed on it, so you can actually feel it's, it's, it's not just drawn, it's actually embossed. Trick or Treat Studios. Their products are actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've, I've gotten a few things from them, and the quality is really good. And especially for the price, because they're, they're pretty cheap, so that's cool, huh? I think that's pretty cool. And let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. The side is the Freddy sweater, and I think on the inside, you can see it's still the sweater design on the inside. And the glove, already from the box, it looks really good. Let's see. Already it looks like it has a lot of really nice detail. And from what I read on the site and from a few of the video reviews I've seen of other people that, they said it's actually very screen accurate, which is great. Alright. This is pretty cool. The weathering on the glove looks really nice. It's ripped up, it's like ripped to shreds basically. <laughs> it looks like all the rips seem pretty screen accurate. The holes in the fingers and everything, which is good. Okay. Give me a second to peel these things off. But so far it looks so far I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. There's the little tag from Trick or Treat Studios. There you go. And Elm Street. Trick or Treat Studios. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, here we go. Took the sponge tips off. Good sponge there. Turn it a bit. Oh, that's tape. Okay. Alright. 
I wish they would have just put sponge tips on the blade rather than putting sponge wrapped around it and covered in tape. It would have been so much easier. There we go. Okay. So see, the blades are dull, but the tips are pretty pointy. I can see there. So you, you could hurt somebody from, with this, but as I said be for display, I'll probably put on for one of these Halloween's maybe, or for a YouTube video, just to showcase my costume. All right, let's see about putting this on. I know they said you gotta be careful when you put on because it's really torn apart. <laughs> so it should fit. My hands are uh, pretty large hands, and it looks like it should fit pretty nicely. So let's see. It's actually pretty cool. Nice. The glove is torn up pretty bad. <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing I don't like, uh, the roots are a little bit. I mean, I, I think I should be able to get used to that. It's a little high for my fingers. The only thing is, the only thing is, annoying is I have to be very careful putting on this glove because the fat, the glove itself is a little bit thin, which is the only thing I don't like. The fabric is a bit thin. It feels like you can tear it pretty easy, which is a one concern of mine, but again, the blade looks pretty good. What I like is it actually has the, in the original Nightmare, the first one, when you look at the glove, it, it, you can see where the blade broke and he soldered it back on. He soldered the piece back onto it, so it has the, the knife break right there, which I think is actually really cool because I, I haven't seen too many gloves that put that detail on it. There's one, RazorGloves.com, he does some really good gloves. Uh, his Hero Glove, the numero uno, has that. Uh, I want to get that from him. Um, but like I said, yeah, overall, it's actually a really awesome glove. It's actually really good detail. Like I said, the only thing I wish is that they made the fabric thicker. But, I mean, overall, good articulation. No? So, yeah. Um... So far, I gotta admit, it's actually a pretty cool glove. I'm liking it a lot. So, yeah, very good detail. The soldering marks and the burns. Even the copper plates right here is a little uneven, like in the original film. It's not perfectly squared across. It's actually uneven and everything, bent and everything. The solder marks here and all that stuff. It's actually really good. As I said, this glove runs at 200 bucks on Trick or Treat Studios. And like I said, with the my only gripe is just that the fabric is a little thin. That's it. That's about it. Just the fabric is a little bit thin. And it makes you worry because you feel like you're gonna rip the glove if you move your hand a little certain way, or maybe move your fingers a little too fast a certain way. You feel like you might tear. But I mean, overall, I wish I could put this on camera, but. That's just my first unboxing and review for a pack, so I hope I did good. I know there's other people that do a much better job. They go into much more in-depth detail on the glove itself. I just want to do the quick unboxing real fast, and that's about it. But yeah, um, yeah. Let's say if you if you want if you're looking to spend maybe 200 bucks for a glove, I would suggest this one. Um, or another place, like I said, his gloves are really good are the go to razorgloves.com i don't think he's he's uh making any new gloves right now but hey, when i went on the site his he's temporarily not taking any more orders but check his site out so when he has um gloves available that i would definitely suggest ordering it because he has some really good really good gloves really nice because the leather is thick leather it's not thin like this it's actually nice thick leather and it's uh the armature is actually they're real you know there's real blades so it's it's not sharp, but his t the tips are actually are actually blades, so they're very pointed, and they're a little heavy because it's yeah it's 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 an authentic leather glove, and he does the weathering himself, he does everything himself, and he's it's actually really awesome. I bought his Boiler Room Deluxe glove, and it was really cool. Unfortunately, it got damaged when I was moving, but um, it's really good. So I would definitely check him out. Check out like I said, you can do Trick or Treat Studios. I gotta admit, this glove is really cool. It's just for, I just ordered it for a display piece. But yeah. So, definitely, yeah, I think it's worth it. It's a cool glove. They have others. They have the part two, three, and four glove. Maybe I might buy them later on. I'll check it out. But, so then, yeah. Let the 
drawstring so you can tighten it or loosen it, whichever you want. The logo is ripped apart to give it that screen accurate look. So, yeah. yeah, so this was my review of the Trick or Treat Studios. Nightmare on Street Part 1 glove, and I gotta say, I am impressed with it, I really do like it, so you should definitely check it out. Thumbs up for me.